Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a highlighted callout to your WordPress menu. I'm going to be showing you this in Divi, but this will work for any WordPress menu. It's kind of a little trick that I use and I think you're really going to like it. It's been a really popular tutorial over on our blog and I'm excited to finally be getting around to going back to some of our um, popular blog posts and following up with videos. So if you have any suggestions, let us know afterwards and we'll get started. All right, so this is a fun little tutorial of something I've done to our site here. You can see an example. We have this little new bouncy thing going on. Also, we have some new tags going on here in the menu. So we're gonna show you how to do that. I have three different examples here. So I'm gonna show you uh, the first one is on the left. Um, second one is on the left raised up a little bit and the other one's on the right, more like this one here. So, and, and that's, this is just a base, you know, you can take it from here and do some different ones. So the way that this tutorial works, we add a span to our menu, actually to the, to the navigation label actually. And inside that span, we have a class. And here's the first example of it. So I would take this here. See how I have menu item here. So we'll go to our menu and add this here in front of the menu item. So there's a span and then class, PA callout inline, and then the word new or whichever word you want to have highlighted, and then the menu item. So let's copy that. So each with each one of these there'll be a CSS class that we'll copy as well so go back here to our menu and we'll put that in front of the navigation label okay and we can go ahead and save our menu then we'll take the CSS snippet here for this one copy it and go over to our theme options and put that in the CSS box here so we'll save that and now we have it in our menu and in our CSS. So now we'll go back here and refresh the page and see what that looks like. It should appear in front of this shop menu item right here. So we'll refresh. And there we go. And of course we could go in and style this. We could make it bold, um, make it you know, a bigger font or, t or smaller, add more padding, change the color, uh, any of that stuff. So let's do another one. Let's go back here. And this one's just going to be raised up a little. So we'll do the same thing. Copy the span, put it in our menu. And again, this one will be in front. So we'll save that. Then we'll go get our, oh, sorry, the snippet here. Put it in our theme options. Let's put it down below the previous one. We'll save that and show you what that one looks like. Okay, so there we have it. It's raised up, it's a little smaller. Um, I like it, it's okay. I like the next one better. Uh, let's show you that one. So I have it on the right side this time. So you wanna make sure you copy and put it on the right side of your menu item. So in this example, put it right here, save that, go back to our tutorial again, copy that, and let's go to our theme options once again, paste it in there like that, save the changes, and uh, we'll see how this one looks. And again, you could customize any of this stuff here, the font, any of these items here, pretty much, um, even like how far away it is from the menu item, collar, background collar, border radius, any of that stuff, feel free to change. Let's take a look. And there we have it. So we have uh, on the left, on the left raised up, and on the right. And, and again, uh, back in, in our main website here, you could put it in line to the right like that if you wanted to. Um, you could, uh, it's really unlimited what you wanna do as far as styling it. Uh, but yeah, I doubt you would wanna do like below or anything like that. But I like the inline and I like the one that's raised up a little bit. 
Um, some people are asking me about this little bit of a bounce. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I actually provided that in the comments. I need to move that up into the tutorial. So here we'll copy that, go back into theme options, paste this in here, and this will affect the one on the right, the last one that we did. And, and we could change that to affect the other ones as well. So uh, let's see, let's take a look at that. Okay, there we have it. It's bouncing around up there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed some of those um, little call outs, highlights, and you can find them useful by putting a few of them in some select place in your WordPress menu. And if you like this sort of thing, as always, be sure to be subscribed. So over on the blog, we publish, you know, at least probably once a week. And we send out an email a couple times a month. We don't send one out, you know, constantly. Um, over here on YouTube, you know, we've been trying to catch up with videos. So we've been publishing a bit more, you know, around twice a week. And that'll, that'll probably even out to like once a week at some point through 2020. Um, but if you like this sort of thing, you know, this is what you'll be getting. So when you're subscribed, this is the content that you'll be seeing. A lot of it, in fact, all of my content is original. I don't do, I don't do tutorials that other people have done. I try to come up with my own and, um, always open to suggestions. So we'll see you in the next video.